everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Jasmine. So today I have another Planet Zoo video for you and we are building in one of my sandbox mode zoos called Pine Springs Park and if you haven't seen this zoo before it is a Canadian nature reserve where I plan on only adding animals that are native to Canada or North America and we are also building the park on a mountain and are focusing a lot on the natural landscape inspired by Canada so lots of cliffs and waterfalls and lakes and rivers and yeah yeah, just lots of lush vegetation as well so if you're interested in watching any of my other builds for this zoo then I'll leave a link to the zoo playlist in the video itself and in the description box as well I think so far we've got three finished enclosures all of which are for animals from the North American DLC and this build is for another animal from the North American DLC and it is probably my favorite animal from the pack and that is the Arctic Fox and I know it's taken me a long time to get around to building for this animal because considering it's my favourite as well and there are still some animals that I haven't built for in this pack at all so yeah sorry about that it's just that I knew where I wanted this enclosure to go in this zoo and it just made sense for me to build it after making some of the other animals habitats so I'm super happy with the Arctic foxes in the game I think they are so cute and I'm so excited to add them to my game and to my zoo and if you're interested in watching some of their animations as well then make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I will add some cinematics of the finished build and also some animations of the animals interacting with the enclosure and the enrichment items and things like that at the end of the video as well so we do have some babies we do have some arctic fox cubs i think we have a whole litter of cubs in fact i think we had like five or six being born at once and they are all so cute they're like a brown color and i don't know if that is standard for all young arctic foxes i, I have seen some footage of other people playing with arctic foxes in game but I've actually forgotten <laughs> so I don't know maybe they change colour as they grow up or maybe it's a seasonal thing but it surprised me when they were born I couldn't believe that they were brown so I was really excited and I thought they looked so cute so I hope you like them too and I will also just apologise quickly because in the comments of my last video for this zoo series you guys requested that I add a mini section of real time footage to take a look at the zoo so far because I think you wanted to see how the enclosures like sit in relation to each other and where everything goes but I haven't included any real-time footage in this video for two reasons really. First I was a bit behind schedule finishing this video and it would have taken me extra time to sort of film and edit that bit of footage and second I plan to go back and revisit some of the builds we've done so far off camera over Christmas probably because I've got a bit of a Christmas holiday and there I can sort of fix areas and tidy them up a bit for example I really want to add some detailing to the river floors in some of the enclosures and change the shape of the beaver enclosure a little bit and set it up ready for the next enclosure which I think will be like a sea lion or grey seal enclosure and I also want to add some some billboards and maybe some other interior details especially in the beaver area because that was quite a big interior section for the guests and it was quite empty in there so yeah just other interior details and things like that and once I finished all of those things I would definitely want to tour what I've done and show you guys so you don't miss out on seeing any of those things but it wouldn't make sense for me to do that twice I don't think because then it would be quite samey so I will save the mini tour for after I've made those changes so hopefully that'll happen over Christmas like I said so sorry if that disappoints any of you but it will come soon I promise I do intend to do it still but in terms of this arctic fox enclosure then you will have at least had a glimpse of the start whilst I was doing some of the train work that this enclosure is located higher up the mountain than some of the other habitats that I've added so far so it's in between the mountain lion enclosure and the moose and beaver enclosures as well so you may have seen that I left a big gap in between where the arctic foxes will be and where the mountain lions are and that is because that's where I want the timber and arctic wolves to go and I really want to make a tunnel system that connects to like an underground cave within the mountain for both of the wolves so I have an idea in mind for that and I think that'll be really cool but the arctic foxes are a bit smaller and so they didn't quite fit in the same area but they did fit quite nicely just in this smaller area that's framed by some 
some rocky cliff edges so I think they fit quite nicely in there so that's why I've put them and you will have also seen me start to build the sheltered viewing area for the guests and I start by using the flexi colour fake rocks from the aquatic pack and I combine them to make them look like a rock wall or like a stone wall and this idea was taken from Tove's Plays Arctic Fox Habitat video which I will link in the description box below in case you guys are interested in checking it out because I found it super inspiring and it was one of the videos that I use as inspiration for this video and I really like the effect but I do end up getting rid of this wall effect and I think I switch it out for some concrete pieces in the end and then to either side of the viewing area I then add these big stone recolorable temple wall pieces from the South America pack because they sort of looked like a dry stone wall effect and that's what I was kind of going for and also when I was experimenting with these stone walls I was actually also trying to plan ahead for my next franchise zoo build because for that zoo I have a particular style in mind based on zoo buildings that I've seen in real life but I'm not entirely sure how is the best way to replicate those buildings within the game because the effect that I'm thinking of has rocks of different shapes and sizes and so it might require me to do some custom walls with individual rock pieces so I was just having a go and I was experimenting and seeing which pieces may have worked what my options were and obviously using the ones that are most appropriate for this zoo here and also I was having a look at which theme each piece is from as well because in franchise mode obviously you have to unlock build items through mechanic research and so it's important to plan ahead so that you unlock the items you actually want rather than ones that you don't want to use so yeah I was just having a little play and a little think about what I was going to do but anyway other than changing those brick pieces I think the viewing area stays pretty much exactly the same by the end of this video you will see at the end that I add a planter box behind the shelter and that is to prevent the guests from looking into what will become the arctic wolf enclosure so I wanted the arctic foxes and the arctic wolves to be next to each other because I thought that would make sense so that's where they're gonna go so I will obviously add some separate viewing areas for the wolves when I make their enclosure but I also just didn't want the guests to be focused on the arctic wolves when they should be looking at the arctic foxes in this particular area because that's the only place they can be viewed so that was my thoughts behind that but yeah you can see me working on the indoor enclosure for the foxes now and it basically looks like an old shed I do end up changing the color scheme and wall pieces to this building quite a lot within this video so I use a reference picture from Pinterest and it had this brown corrugated wall effect and then above that it had a layer of faded brown wood on the top of the building and then a light grey corrugated roof and at first I thought I would just use it as like general inspiration and create my own version of the build basically but I didn't like my own version at all so I go back and I switch out some of the pieces and I change the colours and basically make it look a lot more like the original inspiration picture and I think it makes it look a lot better personally but let me know down in the comments below if you if you agree or disagree <laughs> but yeah later on when I do the interior for the indoor enclosure I also add three individual cage areas for the arctic foxes basically so they can be separated for the keepers but I also had in mind that that's where they would sleep they were like their sleeping areas but there isn't actually any way for the foxes to access those areas or for the keeper either they are just kind of implied but they do have access to their indoor play area which is open to them all the time where I've just added some branches and rocks for them to climb and play on and I also don't think the keeper can access the outside of their enclosure yet I might go and change it before I upload it to the gallery but yeah it is a sandbox zoo so I'm not too fussed about that but this is something that keeps annoying me with planet zoo is that we can't have two keeper entrances to enclosures so I added a keeper door to the front of the building so they could access the Fox's interior build but then the mechanized door that connects the indoor enclosure to the outdoor enclosure is too small for the keepers to get through and I actually tried to make it big enough for the keepers when I built it but it wasn't so it doesn't work I don't think and yeah I think I might eventually change in this at some point to make sure they can get in and out but I don't have a good design in mind for this at the minute because it would have to be an open door I can't just place a door on the side of the wall so yeah it's a little bit annoying so we'll see but anyway there is also a keeper hut attached to this building and a power source as well they are just off to the right behind the sort of indoor enclosure section so that's quite handy and you can probably see in the background of this enclosure as well behind where the rock wall is there are a bunch of staff facilities up the hill as well and I plan
plan to have some extra staff facilities there for where this wolf and fox section is going to be as a whole. So I don't add them within this build at all, I just sort of cover them with trees for the cinematics at the end of the video. And I plan to have this build added to the Steam Workshop by the time this video is out. And so if I've done that, it should be linked in the description box of this video below for anyone who's interested. But I won't go to too much fuss about making sure that everything has been sort of carefully included. So I know sometimes if you've got like a lot of terrain work, then things that are sunk too far into the ground sort of disappear and, and don't exist in blueprints when you upload them to the Steam Workshop. And yeah, I basically just turn it into a blueprint as it is. And you guys can, if you want to add the detailing, then you guys can watch my video and sort of fill in the gaps for yourself. But it would take me absolutely ages if I was really, really particular about all of the different blueprints that I added to the gallery after each video. And it takes me a long time to build and to edit and to record and stuff like that as well. So sorry that it's not in more detail and it's not more carefully done, but at least I'm putting them onto the workshop. At least there's that. So yeah, hopefully that's helpful. And then in this video, I also spent quite a bit of time making some more detailed rock cliff edges using a lot of layers of flat rocks. And I've been using both the tempera and the taiga rocks throughout this zoo with some mossy rocks occasionally, but not in this area. I just kind of use them where the water is. So around the waterfalls and things like that. And I also did change my use of vegetation a little for this enclosure compared to some of my other enclosures so far. And that is because we are further up the mountain. So I imagined that the vegetation would be getting less dense and less lush the further up you go and more rocky basically. And yeah, sort of sparser. So I still did use a lot of the same bracken and other grasses in some areas, mostly like around the buildings. But in terms of the enclosure itself, I, I think I used like a couple of grass objects, a couple of bushes, but mostly just rocks and then place down some individual branches for them to sort of climb and play on. I also figured that it would suit the arctic foxes more if their vegetation was a little bit less dense. So I thought it sort of made visual sense for them as an animal because I didn't check on Zoopedia, but I'm assuming that's what they need because obviously they are arctic foxes. So they're going to be around a lot of snow and we don't have any snow in this enclosure. I've not sort of changed the weather or the temperature at all for them. But yeah, it's just mostly just quite rocky. So that's what I've done. And I really enjoyed building this one because I think it was a smaller enclosure compared to some of the other builds in this zoo. And I think I will try and make the beaver enclosure a little bit smaller, for example, as well, so that it looks better in proportion to the animals and the guests. But because the Arctic foxes are quite small, this, this area was quite small as well. And so I felt like I could add a lot more detail to each of the section. And yeah, it just feels a lot more full because of it and a lot more refined. So I was really, really happy with how it turned out. Hopefully I can add as much detail to different areas of the zoo with time. And I think, yeah, I'll go back and sort of change a, a few bits here and there and improve them. But we are coming up to the end of the video now. So I really, really hope that you liked it. Please let me know how you're enjoying this zoo down in the comments below. And if you have any animals that you really want to see next being added to the zoo. So obviously we are doing Canadian or North American animals only. I've mentioned in other videos what I plan on adding to this zoo. So bears, wolves, for example. But I also have plans in mind for the Californian sea lion or gray seal to be added next. That's kind of why I was thinking. But if you would prefer me to add something else next, then let me know. But yeah, I kind of wanted them to be near where the beavers are, sort of like next in line down the river from the beavers. So that's why I was going to prep their enclosure for me to be able to do the, the sea lions next. And let me know if you want to see those animals together or separate in an enclosure, so the seals and the sea lions. But yeah, that's basically it from me. So don't forget to stick around until the very end of the video so that you can see the cinematic footage of the finished build as well as the arctic foxes enjoying their new enclosure and the little fox cubs as well because they are so cute. And I promise to include a real time tour for this zoo soon as well. So as always, if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye everyone.